Hi, I want to show you this thing called an LCD shutter made or sold by Pimeroni. Three pounds for the small one, six pounds for the bigger one. I got both. Here's the big one. Uh, it's mounted uh, above a little breadboard with a power source so that I can put three volts on it. They say put three volts on it, it'll turn dark. Um, I've fixed it up so one button, uh, an instantaneous switch will put three volts on so it turns dark and I've got another one to short it out so that it turns transparent again. The little uh, breadboard uh, puts out three volts, you can set it for five or three volts. Uh, it's powered by battery and um, when you turn on the battery you can see the LED through the LCD. Now I'm pressing the charge button, boop, turn dark and then you can see that the charge bleeds away because it's getting more and more transparent again. The device is said to be like a capacitor so I measured it in one of these component testers and it said 14 nanofarads so, so that's right the resistance is very high almost as far as I could measure infinite. And during measuring on the little LCD I think I zapped it somehow so it, it, it doesn't turn anymore when you put the voltage on but the big one does and of course the interest for me at least is how fast does it turn opaque and is the field that square is it uh, even I need to know that if I'm going to use this device as a shutter for an actual camera which is my interest eventually so if you remember from one of my videos I've uh, designed a flat screen an illuminated flat screen that's better to it's more flat the, the flatness is good to one percent so I can use that to shine behind this and then you know turn it on and off and test various things take pictures and see if there are any gradients so first I'm testing how fast the device turns dark by filming the LED from above while I press the button and counting the frames so here we go one two three four frames perhaps this is with a, a camera app called Arcam Pro on an iPhone um, you can set the frames per second but no higher than 60 uh, so four frames at 60 frames per second that's one fifteenth of a second so there you have it. That's how long time it takes to turn dark. One fifteenth of a second.